alpha female. I think it is based on like masculine traits, I think. And, you know, she's a woman, but she's not vulnerable. You know what I mean? It's just, oh, it's just, it's just awful, man. So all you people out there, fix up, man. Don't come in my comments talking about alpha male, but, but this and that. Do you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, you lot need the hypnosis or something to just kick you out of that nonsense talk. Um, so yeah, it's something I definitely feel passionate about. Um, and I think it's because I hate as a person, as a man, being put into a box mm. or given some unrealistic aspirations. So unlike some people that would be like, oh, this is what everybody wants. Let me just go and I don't so know. like the script, basically follow the script. Yeah, but also I guess on the woman's side, oh, every, every man wants a BBL, let me get a BBL. I'm, I kind of, I, I'm the opposite. Like if everyone wants an alpha male, then screw every woman. He's an antagonist. You know, seriously, if you, if you guys are over here saying this is what, da 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 I can't be all things to all people, it's long. Well, yeah. it's, what is that saying? Like one of my favourite sayings, comparison is the thief of joy. Like, you can't compare yourself to other people. You'll just go mad if you're just always comparing yourself to other people. Mm. Um, you just have to, you know, focus on yourself. As Paris said, be the best version of yourself every day, just baby steps. Um, you know, and if everyone messes up, everyone snaps or is angry or... Uh, you know, like everyone isn't perfect all the time and being vulnerable is, is a part of that like there are times that I've cried at work because I've just gotten so frustrated about things um, and it's not something that I'm proud of but it's just like I'm a human, you know, and you learn from it and you become more more resilient and I guess as a woman maybe I got away with that whereas a man probably wouldn't have, you know um, but it's... Um, it's it's hard life is hard i think us kind of pushing people into boxes as you said makes it a lot harder than it needs to be mm. um so let's maybe try not to do that yeah and you know what i think just based on the status quo my lived experience you know being an artist making my love songs or whatever <laughs> if you see a man express himself yeah in an unexpected way you are you are honored and blessed to see that you know, you're looking at a man that's strong because he's, a, he's been able to break through the stereotypes that society, his family, probably the girls he's dated have pushed on him of, you know, the only acceptable emotion to express is anger. So you should be revering that man that has expressed himself in, a, in an unexpected way. Give him his flowers. Maybe literally send him some flowers. Yes. Do men like flowers? Yeah, why not? Why not? Don't know. Just... I, I always women that get flowers i would accept flowers or a gift um so yeah you know next time you think oh he just no nah, revere him clap for him clap for him you can be part of the solution um you know as well as the men doing the internal work um so yeah that's uh that's my thoughts on that and yeah i definitely want to know what you guys think unless you think alpha males is a good idea and you're looking for an alpha male you know you're not that far ahead yet so you know come back to this video when he's broken your heart oh that's um, a bit of a, an assumption that alpha males are all knobs. Maybe behind the alpha male, they're all nice guys. Yeah, that's what they. That's the fallacy they believe. They believe that he'll be an alpha male <laughs> outside the they? house. Who is they? Women, Selena, a spokesperson for them. They believe that he might be an alpha male dominant over other men. You know, but in the house he'll be a little tiger that I can tame. You know? A little tiger. Yeah, that a I little can cat. Tame. Yeah, and you know, I have to say another thing. If I was to say one definition of you know, a man, yes it is, you know, to fulfil your responsibilities as best you can as it's a human. everyone really, right? Yeah. And I think it's also uplifting. It's not domination. It's not, I'm going to crush, I'm going to stomp. You know, it's it's uplifting where you can and it's, it's collaboration. Yeah, um, encouragement. I think yeah. that's definitely a characteristic that is a uh, more aligned to women yeah. than than men and um, it doesn't need to be you yeah. know anyone can be encouraging or supportive um, yeah, yeah men are not very <laughs> collaborative and supportive and I think that's another myth I think a lot of women assume that men are just as I don't know like open and collaborative and cohesive mm -hmm. and it's all this you know men domination and we know that women are uh, bottom of the pile and we're, we're going to maintain that and there's none of that mm. trust me i always thought men were a lot more collaborative than yeah women, personally from my experience but 
Uh, maybe it depends, like, where you grew up. I don't know. Mm, certain men, maybe. But um, for me, I just see myself kind of out in the wilderness because there's not the support network uh, alongside gender solidarity of men to men. There's just not the same solidarity there. So you're kind of just out in the wilderness uh, figuring it out, you know, looking for like-minded people, whether it's men or, or, or women. But I think it's less along the lines of gender, whereas I think, you know, girl power movements, women support women, you know. But historically, you have to understand that because women are a lot more repressed and oppressed than men, historically. As I say, these same, these same systems that of patriarchy, for example, that oppress women, they also oppress men and they don't even realise it. So yeah. we're both fighting patriarchy anyway, but yet somehow men are not, I guess it's more clearly defined along gender lines mm -hmm. for women. But mm -hmm. yes, I agree that, you know, we're both suffering from patriarchy in different ways. Um, and, you know, I think, yeah, m maybe if men can wake up and, and analyse this thing and uh, pick it apart, they can, as you say, take more from the women's side of things in terms of collaborating um, because that's how we survive as a species and don't let capitalism tell you anything other than that. <laughs> Alright people, so... On that note, <laughs> let's yeah. not go to capitalism. Yeah, let's, 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 let's not. I mean, I'm sure we'll probably have to visit this again at some point because it's such a, it's been a running theme, but I feel like I did reveal some things that Maybe Selena didn't really think of before. No, it's and, interesting yeah. and I guess I just keep going back to that whole thing that happened in your childhood with your friend and it's just like the fact that you remember it as an adult, you know, kind of speaks speaks volumes. Um, and mm. All these little things that we say, they, they can have an impact. Well, it's just because um, you want to belong, right? And yeah, yeah. It's a formative years, yeah. that's all. So it was just a form of a rejection. It wasn't yeah. not so much, I, I'm questioning myself because I say I didn't question myself. No, but it's... But it's it's something that is kind of as you grow up you see aspects of that like mm. I, I can think of other boys who maybe were a bit more like they enjoyed stage you know like theatre more than they enjoyed sports and they were made fun of for things like that or you know because they did cry people took the piss out of them at school so I can kind of understand what you're saying even from an objective point of view of what I saw happen to other kids so yeah it's uh Hopefully it's getting better. People are talking a bit more now and as much as social media can annoy me at times, it is really good for, for <coughs> people to, bless you, to be able to share um, and feel safe in certain spaces, you know. Mm. So. And I have to say, being called a girl these days, that's a compliment, I'm not going to lie. Like, that's definitely a compliment because it's, to me, if you're a man being called a girl, it means that you've got a level of communication which is a bit more universal, you know, and it's a bit more open. If, if women have a better communication style, <laughs> then call me a girl. That's my point. It's a compliment. That's how I see it. Um, and, you know, and I have to say... Some women, not all women. Like, I, I think this is my thing. Just It's not just like everyone who's a woman is a great communicator and everyone who isn't a woman isn't. But and when they're calling you a girl, it's sort of, um, Everyone in between that. Do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, when they're calling you a girl, they're obviously it's the stereotype. They're, they're, they're saying that, you know, you're, I guess, you're the communicative or emotionally, you know, sensitive or vulnerable type. Yeah, I, call me all those things. It's healthy, right? Those are healthy things to be. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the backdrop, knowing that uh, men are not allowed that space, you know, to be those things. So if, if you're saying, you know, I've managed to display those things in a world that doesn't allow you to, I feel like I'm a strong person. You should be kissing the ring. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, yeah, for sure. Anyway, um, yeah, that's been this week's episode. I really feel passionately about this topic, guys. I think guys. it's a bit therapeutic for you, Pat. Yeah, it is, because I, I hate boxes, people. And that's not what we are at Love Uncut. You know, we're not in no box. That's why we did the whole channel because you know there are boxes out there already fit for people that look like me and people that look like Selena um, and yeah we just want to show there's nuance, there's humanity and that's what's going to shine through in the end hopefully we'll be back next week at 6 o'clock people definitely like, share, subscribe if you're feeling the vibes thank you for um, watching yeah especially those who made it to the end as well so yeah we'll see you next time, bye